So good evening everyone welcome to intraday screener today we are going to discuss about option strategy builder so without any further ado let's get into the video by the end of the video you will be able to understand what are option strategies different type of option strategies and how to create your own strategy so firstly we'll discuss about what are option strategies so it is a mix of buying and selling of one or more options. It could be put option or call option. In options, we have call option and put option. So what are the possibilities we have, especially call and put options? We can buy call option or put option. We can sell call option or put option so we need to make use of this uh, possibilities and we can make our own strategies we are also having some pre-built strategies which we will be discussing in the upcoming video so firstly what is call option a call option is a right to buy an underlying asset or contract at a fixed price at a future date this means expiry at a price that is decided today so what does this mean so let's take an example of a stock reliance if suppose the current market price of this specific stock which is reliance is 2800 you are anticipating that this specific stock reliance might go up so we can usually buy call option for this purpose if suppose we want to take the trades in at the money as you all know in options we'll be having three type of uh, contracts in the money at the money and out of the money just for an example we'll take at the money as you're anticipating that the price would go up we'll take 2800 ca will go long in this specific contract for the current expiry say like uh, 25th of may just for an example expiry so now let's come to the definition a call option is right to buy an underlying asset which is reliance here or contract at a fixed price we'll be having some sort of say like 100 rupees we'll be having to buy this uh, 2800 uh, call option into lot size suppose we are having a lot size of 800 just for an example we'll take this this is the price and this is the lot size at a fixed price which is 100 at a future date that means the expiry date at a price that is decided today so decided today so that is what call option is when it comes to the put option it is the right to sell an underlying asset or contract at a fixed price at a future date at a price that is decided today so i hope uh, you understood what is the difference between call option and put option so now just we'll brush up the concept of option buying and selling i've already uh, talked about this specific concept earlier in the previous slide just uh, brush it up so usually we'll be having two type of options one is call option and put option we can buy and sell call option we can sell and buy put option so what is the meaning of buying call option that means we are anticipating that the price might go up in the future so we will be buying call option to play the same thing we can sell put option anticipating that the price might go up. So if you feel like the price would come down in the upcoming few days of time, we can short call option. That means we can sell call option or buy put option. That means we can go long in put option. These are the basic strategies while you are trading in options. So now let's discuss about the advanced strategies involved in options. So this is divided based on the perspective especially your perspective it depends on your perspective towards the market or a specific stock say like you are having a bullish view in a specific stock or contract 
you will be having these five types of option strategies one is long call short put bull call spread bull put spread call ratio spread if you have viewed towards the stock market or any particular stock or any contract is bearish you will be having an option to trade in these option strategies using this option strategies which is long put short call bear put spread bear call spread put ratio spread if your perspective towards the market or any stock is neutral thinking that the stock might consolidate in a certain range we go and take short straddle short strangle short iron butterfly and short iron condor so in the next slide i'll show you the payoff diagrams these are called as payoff diagrams of the option strategies which i have discussed right now this is the payoff diagrams of bullish strategies so this is the payoff diagrams of bearish strategies and this is the payoff diagram of neutral or range bound strategies so i hope you guys got an idea a basic idea of what are different kind of option strategies involved so if you want to be your own option strategy you can also do that so let's see how we can do that so i personally use intraday screener to build my own strategy or to make use of the pre built strategies so let's get into the intraday screener so in options you will be getting an option to select option strategy builder so click on option strategy builder so this is the interface of uh, option strategy builder where you can select the stock you would like to trade with only for fmo stocks you will be getting this specific list for non fmo stocks you will not be having options so it will be not shown here so let's take an example of uh, nifty 50 here there is a possibility to select the expiry you can select a uh, any expiry you would like to trade with for stocks you will be having monthly expiry and for indices such as nifty 50 and bank nifty you will be having weekly expiry so this is what you need to be clear with so here i guess uh, everyone can uh, see right we are having different type of pre built strategies if you your perspective is bullish as we discussed earlier you can click on this um, different strategies and take the trades so if your perspective towards the market or any stock is bearish you can click here and select one of these five strategies uh, this uh, what do is is categorized or divided based on the risk appetite and profitability suppose when you take a buy put you can clearly see the contracts as well so let's take an example of buy put itself so here you'll be getting the contracts you are trying to trade with so you are buying the put option so this is the market current market price of the indices indices or the stock so here at the money put option is taken for the current expiry and the premium is 65.45 for this you will be getting the payoff diagram so this means by the end of the expiry that means 5th of may which is tomorrow if that specific indice or any stock trades at this specific level just for an example now the market now the current market price of nifty is 16714 if tomorrow it rallied till 16382 you will be getting 12000 rupees of profit if this specific stock by the end of expiry comes to 16972 which is your perspective towards the market is negative but it went opposite to your uh, direction so you will be losing total 71.3 rupees of premium usually when you want to trade in options we will buy in lots so that means premium into the lot size which is 50 for nifty for bank nifty the option lot is 25 that means the total amount will be lost 
so the break even point here you can clearly see that the break even point of expiry is 17099 so that is what you will be getting the break even points and how much loss you might incur if that specific stock went to that specific uh, strike say like 16000 uh, at 16700 you'll be getting uh, 3565 rupees locked when the strike or any specific uh, stock when it comes to here we are discussing as we are discussing about nifty if this specific nifty went till 16600 our loss is only 1865 rupees but if it rallied till 16000 800 or 16200 the maximum loss that we can incur is 3565 that is what it is showing here so the maximum profit is unlimited this steepness continues to grow so the premium required to trade in this specific stock is 3565 so now let's take an example of uh, sell call and if you feel like the market might go up, sorry go down so you can also sell the call option so once you select the call option or the contracts you would like to trade click on trade on so you'll be getting a pop-up where you can select the limit order or you can also select in the delivery format so once it is done click on place order and the order will be executed directly in a stock brokerage account but for this you need to log in or try to link up the intraday screener with your stock brokerage account so there is an option where you can create your own strategies so let me clear all this uh, pre-built strategies so here there is an option called edit or add strategy so you can directly suppose example you feel like uh, you want to buy 16700 call option the left side is call options and the right side is uh, put options if you want to buy the 16750 call option click on this b button so if you want to sell 16500 put option click on this yes button so here there is an option where you can also increase the lot size so if this is the strategy that you would like to trade with so you can create from here and click on done and you'll be getting the payoff diagram so this is what the payoff diagram looks like so i hope everyone is able to understand the concept so here you can also save the strategies you have created so you can click on now save strategy and the strategy will be created so in the future if you want to trade with it you can come to save or load the strategy you can click here and the strategy will be automatically loaded so i hope everyone uh, understood the concept of what is option strategy and how we can build our own option strategies so let's meet in the next video guys thank you